Laura Styles, what you got on your list today? No, I was just looking at this video that producer Griff sent me of these tourists in Italy who were on, you know, and they were in Venice. And you know the little boats? Yeah. And they're trying to take selfies. They kept asking them to sit down. And, of course, they don't. And they flip the entire thing over. Nah. <clears throat> Bro, if you're traveling, and not, you know, a lot of people travel during the holidays. But just traveling, period. Bro, don't be that person. Don't be the one that's always doing dumb-ish. Like, you know how many people are literally, like, not only just getting hurt, but breaking things, just doing dumb-ish because you want to take a stupid selfie? Like, why? Why? You know why? I, I, For the I, gram. Right. I can't. I can't. I For can't. the TikToks. Yo, they're li- they literally asked him to sit down numerous times. They wanted to take this damn selfie and flip the entire thing over. Wow. Wow. Mm. Don't be that person. If you're a tourist, don't be that person. Don't be that person, period. But please, 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 please. I can't. Give him the button. Congratulations. You played yourself. Rosenberg, what you got up today? Um, I mean, listen, how do you not give it back to good old Elon Musk? Oh, God. What he do now? In his perpetual, you know, fight for freedom. You know, he wants everyone to be, say whatever they want. Oh, yeah. Put him back on the uh, Twitter app. Oh, no. What's it called now? X. X. So he went out and he fe- he let decided to let Alex Jones back on X. Yeah, you know, the guy who who was responsible for the torment of Sandy Hook parents because he insisted on having a crazed Sandy Hook conspiracy theory that it never happened and victim blamed all the parents who lost their children in a school shooting. Yeah, Even but though he lost like an eighty million dollar trial. He has now been allowed back on. X to talk. Come about on, Rosenberg. Wants- Rosenberg, listen. X X is the beacon of free speech. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you want to say and who you want to say it to, Yo, you X is your place. Yo, you can't trust anything on this MF anymore. It's crazy. Yo, even yesterday, I was just trying to look up what was going on with the. Um, the penalty in the Chiefs Bills game on Sunday night. Oh, the, the amount of spam you got trying to look that up on Twitter. <laughs> not, no, not even the spam. The amount of people who posted a fake version of it where Kadarius Tony was onside. What? Or where he was super offside. Yeah, people just people just start bending and switching every image that you see. So you really don't know anything anymore. It's it's. It's insane. What's well, maybe on this app. Well, may, and, and maybe, maybe the congratulations you played yourself goes to us for thinking that just an app, a social media app, is somehow a beacon of trustworthy, factual news. Oh well, we're learning right now. Congratulations, you played yourself. You know what I'm saying? They, they X has no legal obligation. I don't believe, um, even though people try to hold them to it, to like. Be on some uh, hold the line well, with no. facts, even though they have a fact check that they throw up sometimes. But that's the whole congrats to Elon Musk getting it, right? I mean, if you have someone who's not really interested in regulation, that's why people were freaking out when he bought it. Because he, like, doesn't, oh. he cares about money. Exactly. But people actually started to rely on this thing as a way to get at least valid stuff from people who had blue checks. Once you took away the blue check, it, it was truly the beginning of the end. The blue check is still there. You just got to pay for it. But that makes it invalid. <laughs> right. It's not the same nah, thing. nah. You could trust anybody that pays for authenticity. You, could, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, what a metaphor for oh life God. that is, right? As Facts. long as you're willing to pay $10, you are val- <laughs> valid. And how, dare, and how dare you slander it? You know what I mean? How dare you? One of the most interesting things trending right now, not only uh, what Rosenberg pointed out, but speaking of Twitter, uh, is uh, the fact that our Supreme Court is hearing a case about a wealth tax right now. And I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but that's right. Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito, both of whom accepted luxury vacations from billionaires. That's right. You sit on That's right. Heard a Supreme Court case yesterday that could ban a federal wealth tax. Neither one of them recuse themselves. So, bro, this is so crazy. Yo, so and just and it, for anybody keeping track at home, uh, Clarence Thomas 
who when he got on the Supreme Court was I think he makes like two hundred some thousand dollars a year. Ugh. He's worth like seventy million dollars. How do you think that? Uh, how do you think he got hit? I just can't. I can't believe it's happening right in front of our eyes. And oh no, they playing right in your face. Getting, getting away with it. That's right. There's Sitting proof right that up. he's accepted these <laughs> gifts. Proof. Yeah. And still, that's right. he's sitting in that court. That's right. Oh no, they play right in your face, bro. It's it's so disrespectful. Yeah. No, they playing right in your face. My favorite. My favorite is like the inflation talk, right? Uh, where everybody's blaming Biden and, you know, talking about inflation. Everybody's got short-term memory. They don't remember the whole pandemic that got us to this point. But even deeper than that is the corporations playing right in your face. Oh. You mean they just doubled the price on something and didn't well, care? Well, like, like and Walmart. their earnings? That's right. Walmart on, a, a Walmart on its great value foods brand, the company's net income has spiked 93% to $10.5 plus billion in the last nine months. That's right. Their profits are way up, and they've raised prices, and they blame inflation. Or PepsiCo that raised prices, and its net income went up 70% to $9 billion. The company spent more than $7.6 billion buying stocks back in 2022. That's an increase of 13, or 1,313%. So for people paying not paying attention, basically you have all these companies saying that the reason their prices are high are inflation. They're literally then reporting that their earnings are Record up. earnings. Kellogg's. Up 14%. The company reported better than expected profits and exec shared plans to spend more on stock buybacks and larger dividends. All the rich people getting richer. Blaming inflation. Setting Biden up. Because they want, you know, they are, it's all, y'all know this is all a, a setup for the Democrats, by the way. The craziest thing is, though, then they're going to bring in people would then vote for a Republican who wants the businesses to get even richer. That's right. Yep. Yep. But hopefully and y'all remember this from when people voted for Trump the first time we had people on the air that was like, yo, he's promising I'm going to make two grand in, in, in a tax return. They voted for him for that, for that, too. It only takes a couple of thousand dollars to get people to turn. <laughs> it don't take That's a it. lot, bro. You just talked about a ten dollar uh, verification on Twitter. That's right. Yeah, right. Just, it doesn't take a lot of money. It don't take a lot for to people make, to get you valid. That's right. That's it. It don't take a lot, and I guess I got to say it again, like I said it before. I want to see it. People out here talking like they gonna vote for Trump. I guess I want to see it. I want to yeah. see if, if you guys further want to turn this whole democracy into a more of a clown show. I want to see <laughs> more of a clown. Show. I want to see it because if they go back, it, if, if you be. go back to Trump, oh, bro. Oh, it's going It'll be on. More, uh, of a, yo. more of a clown show. No, Voter as the president is women facing will have jail. No rights. It's going back. Yo, right yeah. now in Texas, there's a woman who literally they're forcing to have a baby. Who's trying to who's who has been trying to have an abortion? The attorney general of the state of Texas said he's gonna he's gonna prosecute anyone that helps this woman who's trying to avoid having a baby because the baby has an illness and it's not gonna survive and it could jeopardize her well being by having the baby. She's trying to not have the baby, so she's she's been to multiple multiple court cases and had to go to the emergency room multiple times because this baby and her has really really bad health problems. And think about the, the, the torture for a mother who has to carry a child that she knows isn't going to make it. Like, knowing that, right? Think Horrible. about how hard that already is. And, and now it could she, affect her ability to have uh, babies later. Uh, right, right. And, 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 and now you're endangering your ability to have healthy children. And you can't even start the process of the painful process that you never wanted to go through in the first place. You can't even start that process to get it done. She has to go travel to somewhere else and have this national s scene be caused because of these maniacs. And that, that's who, but that's what people want because they might get a couple of thousand dollars. They might get the PPP loans back so they can run some scams, baby. They might get a, a another STEMI check is what they think with Trump's name tatted on maybe it. Maybe another Kodak pardon. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe Kodak could get pardoned for another crime. Because he did You're just so commit another stupid. one. Yeah, he just got in trouble. He he passed out in the middle of. I thought he was passed out in the middle of an intersection off coke. With coke and weed in his car. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know.
Uh, the lady us the, the lady we're speaking about with the abortion, she just crossed t- state lines yesterday and was able to uh get what she needed. Um but well, she could afford to do that fortunately, you know. Yeah, there's people who can't, but you know, look There's a this, lot of people who cannot afford to do that. Listen, with all this outrage and all of this chaos and turmoil that we're going through, people just want their stimmies back and their PPP loans. And they believe that Trump delivered that for them. And for that, I give you this. Congratulations. You Because that's yourself. not even how it happened.